Hi guys, I do today a nice uh, small talk video and I want to tell you today why I'm not so often do upload videos um, and what I do now and what the progress is for my work and so maybe you can see me a bit. Um, it's a bit dark here in my room, I put up the light a bit. Wait a moment. It's not easy to do this sometimes because of this stupid light thing here. And I have to ramp up the camera settings a bit. So I hope you can see me a bit better. So let's just maybe I cut it out. <laughs> Um, yes, the reason why I'm not often uh, upload videos is I work on a film set uh, as a camera operator and um, that is why I'm not often around in the house. It's, uh, um, so that is the thing and I work at the film. Uh, it's a theater film, it's a drama, um, the title is Neon and it, this film is um, a great, great opportunity for me to work again at a film set. I do that in the past, maybe you uh, saw the other small talk where I explain something about my gear. And um, yes, I was the last time often on this film set and that is why I'm not so often on YouTube to do upload nice films nice films and videos for you um, but no problem uh, I hope no worry please I have some videos in the pipeline for example after the small talk video uh, a video about my snowmandra parker from Canada Goose Maybe a video about uh, zine lenses. I got two and no three lenses um, 24 50 and 85 mil lens and the Other time-lapse video I want to do and So it's again again a little progress the most thing I do it at myself and I have not now a real upload plan or a real upload um, queue how I upload every Friday or every day a video. So I try to manage it so that you can get every time a video. I hope so. I have to check something. Wait a moment, please. Yes, sorry, <laughs> I try a new camera system to record me and so that is the first time with, the, with this system. Sorry for this um, interruption. Uh, so now we can continue straight ahead and fine uh, to the video. Um, I want to tell you, yes, the first thing I am working on a film set. The second thing is I want to have some nice videos for you in the pipeline. And the third thing is I get in June to another nice film set. And um, that is the other long part where may I not upload a video. I hope it's okay. And so the other thing what I plan on this channel may is a, a test how do let's plays but i'm not a play gamer i'm not a guy in gaming i am like more the film guy and maybe i do it. that is a, that is an option far 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 in the future now i want uh, look more and more at the film stuff uh, time lapsing i want to longer time lapse and better time lapse. Now I have a nice equipment uh, thanks to DJI for this great, great 
stuff that is a DJI RS2. I got two of them. One is now on this, uh, one is using now for my um, video here for the small talk video. And the other one is packed up in this in the case. Maybe I want to do a video from this machine too. It's a great, great gimbal. I order the active tracking system, the Raven Eye, so I can do better small talk videos, better videos about stuff. So, um, yes, that is a nice machine. I got it from DJI. Um, Mm, some other film stuff. The other thing want I tell you is the film, the work at the set as a camera operator, as the second camera operator, um, get me more and more knowledge how I work with film crews, with a set and with the commands on set, with the workflow at the, at the set up to the data wrangling on the set, how manage the all thing. It was a great experience. It was um, like a studio theater thing where I'm more inside. We have many, many grip um, in the theater. We have two cameras, a Sony A7R3 and the Red DSMC2 with much lenses and a nice actor. It was a great, great experience to do this. Um, nice film in the, in the theater. The second film is not in the theater. It's more a typical um, film. It's more norm normally movie-like. It's a story. It's like more a uh, drama story in this, but I don't know really what we want to do. I'm on this set again, the second camera operator. I use um, on both sets my own cameras. My first camera was the uh, um, Red DSMC two, and this is Sony A seven R Mark three. And now um, I want rented the Sony FX, FX3 for this. I want to use a Komodo, but the Komodo was does not fit in my picture profile. And the Aria Alexa is not here. I rented the Aria Alexa out to another buddy. So I have not only these two cameras. And so uh, we want to use the gimbal, uh, the gimbals, the RS2. And maybe we rent a Ronin 2, with this big one. And we have other night normally stuff. And so in my, um, <clears throat> sorry, in my, uh, for my filming grip and gear, I want to order um, some LED light. Um, High-end LED light, not from Ari. Um, it's from other company, I don't know the name. It's not, not cheap, but uh, I need more light. I have only now my ceiling light, this great LED panel too. Um, but I want high end, more high end stuff. So uh, I order some nice light. Then I built my slider uh, ready, that is this huge thing in the background, maybe you can see a bit. That is this machine here, that is the slider. And um, the stupid police are outside. And um, I built it ready for the next films. Uh, that is a three meter long slider. So I can roll around two and a half meter um, on this slider and I want to put the gimbal, the RS2 on the slider so I can have an extreme nice movements for filming. So the slider is built uh, from machine stuff. These are normally uh, the, the rails are normally um, um, normally rails for the 
machining for the machines. And these are Bosch Rexot rails, They're especially rails for this um, slider, uh, well, not for this slider, for um, for machining. For yes, for machining. <laughs> it's difficult to explain it now. Um, maybe I try some other explaining for this. But it's a very great machine. Um, maybe you saw the video where I used my down suits. I used the slider for the moving part, moving um, scenes. And it's very great. As I have many sliders. I have high-end slider from Kessler, uh, good uh, Edelkron sliders. Work nice. The big problem of all the sliders is the payload is not high enough. And this rails here in the background, that's machine rails from high-end Zin Z machines. And this payload of these rails are so high. Um, I read in the data sheet or the data template, template that one rail can handle up to one ton or around 1,000 kilograms. That is so a high um, uh, payload. And that's not only the payload of the rails, the, uh, the, um, the slides. Uh, the slats from this thing has this high payload. There are high-end uh, bearing inside, there are high-end slats inside. That is machining stuff. That is, you cannot compare that with a normally cine slider. It's very good. There are very good cine sliders out of the market. And But you see um, a big, big problem in the cine sliders. The payload, okay, nobody, really nobody slam around a half a ton of one on the normal camera rig. But I want to use this not only for my um, camera work, I want to use this for my telescope work too. And uh, I have a good guy, he's a um, telescope guy, and the telescope periphery and the telescope grip, or I'll call it my grip, it's a firm term, can weight uh, can have a payload in the weight up to 500 kilograms because of this massive massive telescope and massive tripod um, um, platforms I have to look at what how call this uh, in the right term I have a computer here Um, mount. It's this big thing where the telescope and the camera on the tripod is called mount. You can Google it or research it. In Germany we call it Montierung. And that is a very huge bunch of technology uh, or mechanical, mechanical thing. And that have this high payload. And that I want to use the slider for. You say now that somebody asks why I want to use a slider for a telescope where I'm not moving. I want to build with this slider. This slider is made in the future a motorized system. And so I want deep sky, deep space footage with um, like a time lapse. And I need huge telescopes. I had a telescope guy here. And I need a heavy duty machine, like a, like a ZNZ machine. And that slide and Follow the telescope, uh, the, follow the stars. Like I have to figure out with my uh, astro guy, telescope guy, how we can um, do that with the controlling software from this telescope system. But it is may in the future. And but I, on the other hand, I don't want to build this big guy. Is uh, I like building stuff. I can try to show you. Not now the good way. I can show you something. Oh. I hope you can see something. That's the sled. And there maybe you can see this heavy duty uh, sleds here. And that thing is massive. There's normally a um, fluid head on top, but not Big surprise, this is a mid-range head, 
And this machine, or this slider, is handled so much payload that the typical thing are mostly built very thin, very um, delicate. But this thing is have real, real heavy duty stuff, and <clears throat> and I like to build heavy duty stuff, and so yes, this is my slider project for the films. And yes, what is next coming? Yes, a few of the videos about my parkas, this is the lenses, some time lapse videos, and some other nice stuff is all coming in the future here on my little channel. It's try to grow, grow, but uh, it's a hard, hard work. I will not get uh, in a short time the big uh, sus uh, subscribers. Um, I want to do it easy for me and it's for for a nice audience, they're interested. This is not a normally channel. It's more like a specially special thing, not not typical things on this channel. Um, so I hope you could understand me a bit. I tried today some other camera setup. Um, I have some problems with the monitor here. It's lagging sometimes because I try a wireless system and well, it's so bad sometimes. It's difficult, um, but I hope you could understand me. I hope you had some fun. And if, if you have questions or comments, what you want to see or have questions, what I build or how I build this and what I grip I use now, you can comment in the comments below. <laughs> and so, um, yes. The last thing I recommend is is uh, I, the last thing in my, for the small tech day and recommend date is not only for me, uh, for from my side, uh, I think. Um, I look at a very nice child um, series. It's called the uh, Moomins. That's a little nice trolls, and I uh, watch the old series from the nineties where I was the drawing of the Moomins, and the new one is called Moomin Valley, and uh, there is some nice cute guys. I like them. And I can recommend that for you. Uh, Google, you look at YouTube or at the typical streaming platforms for movements or moving valley, and maybe you like it too. So I wish you a good day. Have fun with your filming gear, with your outdoor gear, with your stuff, and stay positive and don't be so upset. And I say bye bye for now.